We have a Dollar Tree dinner, Mexican chicken with rice. Everybody, this is what to eat, and welcome to my channel. Today we have a Mexican chicken and rice dish from the Dollar Tree. In a moment, I'm going to fill up my saucepan with water, and we're going to get the water boiling for the rice from the Dollar Tree. Then I'm going to turn the camera around and show you everything that you need. This is a little more than five ingredients, but it's going to be inexpensive and budget friendly. If you are new here, thank you so much for just stopping by and clicking on my link and checking me out. For those that watch every single day, thank you so much for everyone's view and support. If you are new, my subscribe guy just popped up down below and he's directing you to go ahead and like this video. So go ahead and smash that like button. He's also telling you to click on that subscribe word down below. So go ahead and click on that. Don't forget to tap on that bell because YouTube will notify you when I upload more video. Let's turn this camera around and I'm going to show you what you need and we'll get cooking. I'm going to place my spoon over the top of my pot because that will prevent a volcano effect and then the water will not spew out all over the stove top and make a mess. This is what you'll be needing for this Dutch oven Mexican chicken rice from the Dollar Tree. Two cans of the chicken, depending on your family size, maybe three. Any of their rice, I chose their yellow rice. You're going to use the entire bag. One of their Velveeta cheese, or if you have a refrigerator department, grab a brick of any cheese that you want by Lakeview. A can of their green giant corn. A jar of their Pace mild salsa. A can of their Rotel. If you can find them, you can use the crispy onions. If not, grab their onion soup mix. And if available, grab sun-dried tomatoes, but not necessary. Grab an extra can of the diced tomatoes if you can't get the sun-dried. This is a sun-dried tomato Mexican chicken and rice dish that I found on Pinterest. It's going to be around one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine dollars for this dinner. Maybe a little less, depending on if you can find everything here on the counter. It'll feed six with leftovers. While I'm waiting for the water to start boiling, we're going to remove the lid from my Dutch oven and open all these cans. You're going to drain this chicken completely from its juices. So let's go ahead and open them. Use your electric can opener if you use one. I prefer the handheld. We're going to grab a colander because we're going to rinse and drain the green giant corn completely. You should always, always, always rinse canned mixed vegetables or any type of canned vegetables. I'm going to go ahead and dump out the juice. Plus I went ahead and I rinsed the chicken. Careful on the can tops, they can be sharp. I'm going to dump this corn right into the colander and let the water run on it for about a minute. And take your chicken, dump it right in. That's good enough for the corn. Make sure you shake it a couple times before you transfer it to your Dutch oven so you don't spill water on your floor and, and slip and fall. Now we're going to open up the can of the Rotel. 
This is diced tomato with green chilies that the Dollar Tree carries. They have two different types of Mexican ones for Mexican dishes. In my description box below, I'll put everything that you need to buy at the Dollar Tree to make this Mexican dried tomato and chicken rice dish. I will show you an aerial view when I'm ready. I'm going to go ahead and open up the paste. I don't always pre-open my jars. That also, all it took was a bang. And dump that entire jar of paste right into the Dutch oven. I like using my colander as a garbage catcher when I'm making these types of dishes because it makes it easy for cleanup for the kitchen. I'm going to take your garlic, use fresh, add three teaspoons. I love garlic. Fresh black cracked pepper, also three teaspoons. And then we're going to add the Velveeta cheese sauce. This is usually found with the condiments near the packets, such as taco seasoning. And we're going to dump it out as much as we can. I hear the water boiling, so I'm going to go over to the stove and we're going to put the rice into the saucepan. This is what the Mexican tomato, chicken, and rice dish is starting to look like. As I thought, the water is to a raging boil. I'm going to cut open my rice and dump it on end and give it a stir. I'm going to save all my empties for my next Dollar Tree empty food review. Add about a tablespoon to two tablespoons of butter just so it won't stick. I'm going to let this boil for about 12 minutes. We're not going to cook it all the way because it's going to continue to cook in the Dutch oven. You can reduce your heat a little bit. To about five and then we're going to stir for a few minutes. The Dutch oven is smelling amazing between the tomatoes and green chilies and the salsa with the corn and the chicken and the rice is just going to add so much flavor. It's going to be amazing this dish and this is also authentic Spanish rice from the Dollar Tree. I wanted to do authentic Dollar Tree dinner that was Mexican. If you noticed, these are all shelf items. You can make this without a refrigerated freezer section. I'm going to turn the microwave for about eight minutes and we're going to come back and check the rice. Let's bring the Dutch oven over to the stove. Be very careful. You don't want to dump it out all over the floor. And then we're going to turn the heat on. Make sure you're putting on the correct burner right in front to about number six to eight. Medium heat. And we're going to take our wooden spoon and incorporate all those tomatoes and Velveeta cheese sauce into this dish and let the dish get nice and bubbly. You can totally do this in the car pot if you wanted to. I wanted to use my Dutch oven 
get myself in and out of the kitchen quicker. I'm going to let that hang out for a few minutes. I'm going to let the rice boil. I have my sun-dried tomatoes. I'm just going to dump them right into the Dutch oven. And these are tomato halves. 3.53 ounces. And that is what the package looks like. I'll save that for the Dollar Tree Empties review. Let's mix it. Grab a pot holder so we don't burn our hands. I will drain the rice before I add it into this mixture. It smells amazing. There's about five minutes left of the rice. I'm going to let it finish off, and then we're going to dump it out into the colander and put it into the Dutch oven. Let's remove the rice from the stove. It is done. Put a quick stir. I'm going to dump the rice out into the colander and drown any extra water. I'm going to fill this pot up so it soaks. And rinse the rice. Then we're going to go over to the stove and add the rice in. I add the rice in and I turn it down to, to low. Let that stock pot soak. It's all bubbly. And this smells absolutely amazing. It took about 15 minutes to prep and 15 minutes to cook because the chicken is pre cooked. You just had to prep the rice. This had a couple more ingredients in my five ingredients dinners, but no fret. It's still a simple dinner you can throw together in minutes. You can continue mixing this. The bottom of the Dutch oven is not blackening, so that's awesome. And if it does, it comes so clean every time. This is an amazing, well put together Dutch oven and I love it. Tons of shredded chicken, rice, tomatoes, corn, everything Mexican. Salsa, Belvita cheese for that extra cheese flavor. I'm just going to take a little taste. Make sure that the rice is completely done. The rice is done. I'm going to let it cook for about three more minutes to make sure the corn is tender, the tomatoes are tender, and it tastes amazing. I grabbed another wooden spoon. Let's take a look at what the pot looks like on the inside. Here is the Mexican chicken rice with tomatoes. Oh my, and it tasted fantastic. Let's add some of the dried onion. This is like a French's onion, kind of like a topper. If you wanted to do a green bean casserole with them, you totally could. Or top them on a salad. Just to give them a little bit of crunch and that onion flavor that you love.
That's all you need to put in. I would say about two teaspoons. Let's put some on a plate together. I'm going to use a small plate and my ladle. Take out a big heaping spoonful. Look at that steam. Mm. No one will never know this came from the Dollar Tree. This will easily feed six with leftovers. I think a spoon is required for this one. Look at how awesome that looks. Mexican chicken with dried tomatoes in a tomato with chilies. Oh my goodness, yum. You can make it for between six and nine dollars depending on if they have dried tomatoes and the dried onions available at your Dollar Tree. If they don't, just use another can of the tomatoes and chilies with onion soup mix. It'll do the same exact thing. Let's go ahead and taste this together. Look at that. That's a lot of food. Gotta make sure it doesn't burn my mouth. Look at all the rice and the chicken. They have authentic Spanish rice at the Dollar Tree. And then the dried onions, perfect. Mmm. And we'll make sure everything you need to know is in the description box below. Thank you so much for stopping by and clicking on my link and watching me all the way to the end. I hope you enjoyed today's Dollar Tree dinner as much as I enjoyed making it for you. If you are new here, let's look for that subscribe word down below. My subscribe guy just popped up. He's also directing you to like this video, so go ahead and smash that like button. To everyone that watches every single day, thank you so much for everyone's support. This dish was awesome to make. It didn't take any time at all, even with the extra ingredients. It is delicious, perfect for a rainy day. Make sure you go to the Dollar Tree and look for these particular items in my description box. I will put the subs if what I have isn't available at your Dollar Tree. Thank you for dropping by and have a nice day.